welcome to the condo. I'm Susan and I'm so glad you stopped by. Today we're going to decorate this mantle. For about two weeks, I don't know, a week and a half, I've had this Norfolk Island pine garland hanging here, trying to figure out what I was going to do. It came from Kirkland's and I love it. It's very heavy and I really don't have anything holding it on. It's so heavy, it just seems to stay in place so far. I hope it doesn't fall. So I, to save time, I ran fairy lights through the Norfolk Island Pine. And, well, that's what we call it here in Virginia, Norfolk Island Pine. I guess people call it Norfolk Pine. Um, so I have two sets of fairy lights. One is here, and then the other little box is here and it goes down and they're on timers. I showed those to you in my last video. They're at Target, five bucks, great deal. And then I don't know if you remember, I showed you these trees in a haul, a couple hauls ago. They came from Hobby Lobby. They're kind of twiggy and they've got berries and pine cones. So I, to save time, I went ahead and wound the fairy lights around them. So I've got one over there, and I'm gonna put one right here. Now, I, I added these lights back here because I thought if I set my Santas up, it would be kind of dark behind them, so I kind of wanted to um, backlight them they're a string of a hundred, and I probably could have gotten by with a string of 50, but I don't have a string of, I probably do upstairs, packed away, but I haven't pulled all those lights out. So I just bought this, and I hope it works out. So anyway, there they are, we'll see. If it doesn't, I'll have to go dig those 50s out and go buy a 50. I just don't want to go in that cubby yet, because that's where all the, the tree is and the ornaments and it's it's packed so now I couldn't decide what I wanted to put up there at first I thought I was going to put my buyer's choice carolers and I set a few of them up there and I didn't like them I just I don't know I just didn't like them I wanted to use them because I didn't use them last year and I'm not using them this year so my poor little carolers are packed away but I promised them next year. Next year was gonna be their big year. So I'm putting all my Santas there. Last year I just used a few, but now we're gonna bring on all the Santas. We're gonna let them have a big old Santa party. So we're gonna start with, oh, we're gonna start with this Jim Shore Santa that my husband gave me a few years ago. And we're gonna put him right in the center and the center is I have a cup hook right here. So the center is right there. And we're gonna set him right is he down. Oh, he's sitting on the light. There you go, boy. Right there. There he is. Can you see him? Okay. Now I'm gonna go to the other end and I'm gonna put this this tall boy. I think he came from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. Wait, yes, he did. He did come from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. So I'm going to put him right here. And I'm going to try to go from high to low. I don't know how that's going to work, but we're going to give it a try. I. The next one I'm going to use is this one, and I, I think I've told you in years past, a friend of mine painted this. She's no longer with us. She died of breast cancer, but she was a great artist. Look at that face. And it's made out of a um, spindle. So I'm going to put this one right Okay, let's see. Um, I might have to move these around a bit. This Santa, 
my husband, most of these Santas my husband bought me. It was a thing for years that he would buy me a Santa. So this one he ordered from Smithsonian Magazine. And he, I believe, will go here. Now, let's see. This is another Santa he bought me. I don't remember where he got it from, but isn't he pretty? He's got a lot of detail on him. So I am gonna put him, I think, right. You might have to move down. He's shorter than I thought. Okay. Santa, my husband just gave me. He got it for me for Christmas, but he said he was going to give it to me now so that I could enjoy it before Christmas. So he, it's a Jim Shores. He's really cute. So let's see. Let's put him. I kind of want to put him at an angle so that his little pouch. Got a lot more Santas to go. Uh, I've got this little fella. He's kind of tall. Uh, I wonder if he should go here. I think these two need to switch places. Okay. There we go. Right. Um, I have these two Santas. This one I got from, ah, oh, it's a really great store. If you live in Virginia, it's called Seasons of Williamsburg. My sister and I are going there tomorrow. They decorate for Christmas. It's a floral shop, but it's outstanding. Um, this one came from there, and I believe this one came from Hobby Lobby. So, maybe, I don't know how these stand up in height. Uh, can you see? Get out of the way, lights. I am gonna fill them in so you won't see them. There, there, and there. There, okay, a few more. This one, this is on a painted on an old thread spool, and I think I'm just gonna pop him in kind of right back here. This one, if you live in Virginia, it's painted by a local artist, Nancy Thomas. I, I don't think she's still living, but she may be, I don't know. Um, he did have branches in his hand, but through the years they got broken off. And then this one. So we're getting kind of we're getting kind of a full house here. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I've got to I've got to let's see. Let's put this little fella. Maybe let's move this one over here and sit this one here and I have a couple small ones I just thought that I would fill in with I don't know if I need them um, you may not even need them I think I'm gonna put one here though and let's see Hmm. Maybe put this 
this little box. There, I'm gonna get him out of the way. Oh, him forward. Okay, I think I'll put this one right here. This one, perhaps right there. And then I have this little tiny one I will put down here. You can't really see them, but we'll put them in there. Now, how do you think that's looking? I think it's looking pretty good. And I will fill in the back with some greenery, just lay some greenery in there. Now let's add these very pretty little ornaments. What are they called? They have a name. Can't remember, it just escaped me. They're heavy though. Hope they stay up. So I'm gonna start with this hook right here in the middle. I'll cut the tag off in a little bit. It's not even. Let's see. We got to make it even. How's that? Is that even? Uh, I gotta step back. Hang on. Yeah, it looks pretty even. The thing that's throwing me off is there's more. Ugh, might have to put a hook there. That's that's scaring me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it's twelve on each side, so I guess that's as even as it's going to get. I need to pull some of these. Okay, we got a couple more things to do. Remember these bells I bought at Target? Well, we're gonna put them on the end. Right here. And right here. And I've already tied these bows up, but I'm using silk bows, green and red. So I'm gonna hook them on. Okay, can you see that? The bells, the bows. I might, I think I need to tie that up tighter.
does that look? It, it looks pretty good. I just need to add some greenery in there. Take the tag off the thing, add some greenery, kind of adjust the lights. Got to figure out why all of a sudden, this thing has stayed up here until all of a sudden it started to droop. So I may have to put a hook there. So let me work on getting some greenery. I just ripped the garland apart for this greenery. It's just cedar looking stuff. So I'm gonna try to just slip some in. Okay, I've got to get a little bit more to go back over here. But I'm going to take you down and let you see it up close. It's really pretty. I'm going to turn the fireplace on too so you can see. So hang on. this side of the room I thought I'd show you this little vignette I made out of an old tackle box and that came from my mother-in-law's house and I had all these old little stuffed snowmen and Santa that I have collected probably 30 or more years ago and I just filled the um, tackle box with some greenery and put them in there and I think they're really cute Remember in my last video, I showed you this terrine, this soup terrine with all these old ornaments? Well, I added um, some fairy lights, but when I was at the vintage market last weekend, I saw a booth that had fairy lights that had little pearls on them. And I thought they were so pretty and she wanted $15.99 for them and I'm like yeah they're pretty but I don't know if they're that pretty so anyway I came home and I looked on Amazon and lo and behold Amazon had them and this is what they look like and they were ten dollars so I ordered them and I added them in here I've got them buried all down in there and it really makes all those little ornaments down in there uh, reflect and the pearls kind of give it an iridescent uh, look as well. So I am going to link these fairy lights in the description box in case you're interested in getting them. They are on a timer, so that's good. And I believe they take two double, yes, two double A batteries. But I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, friends, it's a few hours later. I had to run my errands with my mama. So I finished it. I believe I finished it. I did plug in some greenery so that you didn't see the cords from the lights behind, unless you really, really look. Please don't really, really look. Um, I think it looks pretty good. The only thing I have to do is I have to fix the cord, this cord over here coming down. I gotta put a command hook to the side of the fireplace to kind of hide that. Other than that, I think we're good. I think we're really good. So I am going to um, 
pan across so you can see it. And, um, you know, hopefully it won't change before my home tour, but you know me, I look at it like, mm, I don't like that Santa Claus there. I'll move here and him. So who knows? But before I sign off, I just want to thank you for watching. I'm going to be doing a couple more. I'll do uh, a video when I do my front porch, but I'm not going to do that till after Thanksgiving because I don't want my neighbors to think I'm weird. They probably already do, but anyway. We bought a new tree, so we're going to video setting that tree up, hopefully this weekend. And then I'm going to be doing a collab with Rebecca from Farmhouse at Meadow Hill. Whole bunch of us again, that'll be fun. And I'm going to do the little bar where I set all my Santa mugs. And that is gonna be a treat because I have a very special plan for that. I think that's gonna be December 3rd. So stay tuned for that. But before I sign off, Bodie's making a lot of noise, sorry. Before I sign off, I have a little special friend. Her name is Melania. She watches my videos. I believe she's in second grade. She's the granddaughter of one of my sorority sisters. And I just want to say, hi, Melania, and thanks for watching. You're a very, very special, special viewer. And I'm so glad you like to watch my videos. And to the rest of you all, Goodbye, and to all, a good night.